how to make sushi roll at home. Before I go there, a small introduction. As Jason said, making sushi, eating sushi is not cheap. You eat it outside. So we want to give you some information and tips how to make sushi at home that you can save money. So let's welcome Jason. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow members, health and food are the most important two things in our life. Just now, I can talk about health. Now, it's my turn to talk about food. You know, sushi is quite popular, not only in Japan, but also in many other countries, including the United States. Today, I want to teach you how to make sushi at home. Because the time limit, of course, you will not be well prepared in making sushi at home after my speech. But you will know, I will tell you how to do following up steps to make sushi at home. So I will tell you the most, inform, uh, most important information about making sushi. First, materials and where you can get materials for making sushi. In this area, each mark has everything for making sushi. So you can go there to buy materials. Basic Materials for making sushi include rice, sushi rice. You need to pay attention. Rice, especially for sushi making. And seaweed. Uh, I think all of you have seen, seen it. Seaweed is uh, ship, uh, ships of seaweed. And also, you can uh, use meat. Usually we use a fish, such as salmon or tuna, and also vegetables. Uh, the most common used vegetable for sushi making is uh, cucumber, uh, cucumber and uh, carrot, etc. Once you have materials ready, you need to turn materials into ingredients. So the most important step is making rice. For sushi rice, you need to really understand very important to follow the formula. Three cups of rice and three and a half cups of water. Then you need to put them cook. After the rice is cooked, you need to mix it with something else. Then you need to prepare uh, rice vinegar uh, with sugar and uh, salt. You need to first to have for three cups of rice, you need to use one quarter cup of rice vinegar and the two tablespoon uh, table tablespoon of sugar and two teaspoons of salt and put them together and then and mix them and put them on fire not to boil but to heat uh, heat them and then when the sugar and the salt dissolved, you need to put them to the rice and mixture. Once the temperature come to normal temperature, and then you can start to make sushi. 
the steps actually were very simple. First, you need to put, uh, to have a carting board. Then you put a rolling pad. Uh, sorry, ro rolling mat. Rolling mat, a sushi rolling mat is available in many uh, shops here in this area. And then you need to put a plastic wrap over on the top of uh, rolling mat. And then you pick seaweed, uh, seaweed there, and then put rice on the top of uh, seaweed. Depends on what you like, then you can select either meat or vegetable or both uh, to place them in the middle of the rice. Then you can roll them to, uh, into a roll, sushi roll. Finally, then you can cut them into pieces. Then the last step is enjoy it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Jason, to provide the very informative, very descriptive how to make sushi. Make me so hungry, all I can do is just drink water right now. <laughs> it's not easy, uh, but it's great. Maybe it's good for us to finish the meeting so quick that we can go eat sushi. Yes, <laughs> yes, but thank you so much. Now we go to our next agenda. Our next part of agenda is table topic. And I'm the table topic masters also. Fortunately or unfortunately, I'm still going to be standing here. So table topic is for the unprepared speech, the impromptu speech. That's usually when you meet somebody, questions how you answer that. And that's another mini speech of introduction, body, conclusion. But it's in a very short period of time, one to two minutes. So understanding the question is very important and that's how we do our listening skill. And that's what Toastmaster listening skill is, uh, is about. We have five people, including me six, and we know that all of you will have your turn. Don't worry, don't be concerned, because all of you will get picked in answering. The thing I want to make, because our District 36 is be your best, so I'm gonna have one of those be your best things over there. So we're gonna start from this way, and I will have Lily to answer these questions. The question is, how can you be your best in family life? How can you be your best in family life? Let's welcome Lily. People Topic Masters and Fellow Toastmasters, how to be your best in the family life? I have two tricks. The number one trick is uh, the number one trick is uh, um, the the head of the family is always right. <laughs> <laughs> I have a younger sister living with me at home right now, and uh, when she first um, came to US to stay with me, I put uh, a big sign in her room. Number one, your sister is always right. <laughs> number two, if your sister is wrong, go back to number one. That's a rule for husband and wife. Yeah, it helps a lot. <laughs> they have to avoid a lot of persuasion, argument, uh, um, things not done in the house. It helps uh, to organize the house call a lot. The other trick uh, to be the best uh, in family, be my best in the family life, is uh, I think we have to be communicating very well. Communication is very important, even with your kids, with your 
significant others and with uh, your family members. If you have something you like them to do, you cannot uh, wait for them to uh, understand you. You have to pick the right timing and express, hey, I'm really busy this week. It's possible you can help me clean the house. If you do not communicate, nobody will understand. Then you will end up very upset. So to answer this question, how to be the best in the family, is number one, you have to have a leader, and the leader is right. Number two, you have to always communicate. Thank you. Thank you, Lily.